Hi guys, I'm Pratika Kapoor, your favorite makeup artist and this is my channel Pratika Kapoor Artistry. If you haven't already subscribed, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon so that you're notified every time I put a new video. I know it's been too long that I've posted something on uh, makeup, so today I'm back. Yay, I'm back with a makeup video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, Airbrush Machine that I have recently purchased. I'm going to unpack it, I'm going to demonstrate and I'm going to review this particular machine in this video. And in my next video, I'm going to also create a full face uh, airbrush makeup look. So um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. All right, so without wasting any further time, let's get to the video. And don't forget to watch it till the end. You know the drill, like, share, subscribe, comment here. Yeah. So here I'm gonna unbox and uh, reveal my new airbrush machine from um, um, Makeup Studio. It's called Spa Max. It's currently one of the most powerful airbrush machines in the industry and I have heard so much about it that I wanted to get one for myself, especially for my special effects and uh, SFX makeup. I'm sure this tool is gonna be very, very useful. So um, the packaging of this product is really good. Uh, the first thing uh, that really caught my mind is the gun. Uh, as you can see, it is pretty sturdy and uh, really uh, long enough to give you full grip of the tool. And also, as you can see, uh, the container where you're going to fill the product is pretty big. So if you're doing like a full body painting, uh you might not have to like go back and refill uh regularly once the product is there you can just fill it as much as you need and if it's for full body like just fill up the entire container and you know use it i really love that about it so uh the gun comes along with this uh, soft bristle brush with which you can clean your uh, gun and uh yeah now i just uh was curious so i thought you know let's just, just open up and see how it is different from the other tools but it's almost like the same um now uh, i i make it a point that you know before going ahead and using my gun i make sure that all the screws are tight and there are no air leak or you know nowhere for the product to move around uh, the compressor comes separately uh, in a different package so uh, this is how the packaging looks you have all the details of the product underneath along with the specifications as you can see here um now let's just open this and see um, what all we have inside well i'm really impressed with the packaging it looks really professional and look at this compressor unlike other compressors in the market this looks very very chic and classy it is black in color and it's very um uh, you know handy it, it it is slightly heavier than the other machines other compressors but yeah again i'm really impressed with the way it looks now this is the charger um i think it is not compatible with indian uh, uh switch boards so yeah you might need an additional laptop and this is the hose pipe uh, again another uh, impressive element of this particular brand I'm, i really like the pipe like it looks different from <laughs> other brands like oh, call me whatever but it matters to me so yeah let's uh, start connecting um, all these uh, elements together and uh, assemble our airbrush machine so first thing first, the hose pipe uh, goes inside the compressor. Make sure that you know um, all the attachments are very very tightly uh, fitted because you don't want the air to leak. Like I don't know how many times I have uh, repeated this, but you have to make sure that there are no air leaks while you're connecting your um, or while you're assembling your airbrush machine. So the other end of the hose pipe goes inside this airbrush gun. I'm really very impressed with the tools. Uh, they're very the, they're very sturdy and uh, you know easy to use so in case you are like uh, a first time user and you have there was nobody available to give you a demo then i think you can do it yourself there's a user manual also that comes along with this in the package so you know in case you have any questions you can always read the manual or you have my uh, video tutorial here to help you out 
so any which ways that's how simple it is i have connected my compressor to the gun the next step would be to connect it to the charger and that's it from there you know uh, we can start using our machine so let me quickly go ahead and show you uh, where you'll connect your charger behind your compressor uh you will see uh right there yeah so over here you can see that you know you have a plug-in you over here you just plug it in and that's how simple it is to assemble i mean i'm, I'm really impressed how user friendly this tool has been designed and the smartest part is you know the gun holder which is like really smart every airbrush machine has a gun holder like so but then you know i'm impressed with this one because i bought it <laughs> all right so i'm just going to quickly connect this to the um, extension board here which is compatible with this uh, adapter and i'm super excited to use this uh, airbrush machine um now uh, on, on the other side you will see there's a power button just click on that and the moment you click on it your machine will start working now um two things that you should know about Sparmax. one thing it doesn't make too much noise other compressors tend to make a lot of noise this is not as noisy as other airbrush machines and also you know um it the, the compressor tends to uh, stand by whenever you're you're not using the gun and it might get really heated up so be careful with that now i'm going to show you the foundations that i am going to review today these are from krylon it is called micro foundations on air i've heard a lot about these foundations so i just wanted to review them for you um, and along with this machine you get these pigments in blue red and golden color so um let me quickly show you how you can use uh, your airbrush machine if you're like new to this this information will be very useful for you but before we go ahead and do that make sure you have your uh, cleanser with you this is from temp2 so basically you can use this to cleanse your makeup and also to clean your airbrush machine this is really very important i have the big one because i use airbrush on a regular basis so um yeah keep that handy with you now i'm going to quickly start with uh, this blue pigment i'm going to show you how you can use these now, always make sure that you're shaking the bottle uh, well before pouring the product into your uh, container because sometimes you know um, the pigments and the fluid separate so you just want to make sure that all the pigments are very well blended and there are no uh, lumps so just shake it well and there are no air bubbles as well so now i'm just going to take a few drops now because this was my first time using this machine i was not really certain as to how much quantity is enough quantity for this because like i said the container is like really really very big so it's a little difficult for me to judge how much product is required so um so yeah now the product went in i've started the machine um now all that you need to do is pull the trigger and start spraying <laughs> Well, I usually prefer to like, you know, uh, test it on a tissue or on my hand before I go ahead and place it on my client's face. Um, now, because I'm going to show you a demo of what exactly you can do with this gun and how you can use it. I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to show you with the blue pigment what all you can do with this particular machine. Now, good thing about this product is that you can draw lines, you can um, create your own shapes and uh, you know this was something that uh, for something like this earlier uh, i would use brushes and i would use so many things to like achieve a certain angle on my face or you know um, pattern on my face but now i think with just one machine i can achieve all of it so i'm here mixing the red and the blue uh, to just get a more pigmented uh, shade for me to demonstrate so for mixing there's something called a bubbling so this the bubbling will really help the products mix so currently i'm just trying to get rid of all the blue shade that is accumulated near the needle and as you can see i can do some fine detailing the lines are so clear and clean um you know um, you can also do detailed body body art using this particular uh, machine uh, so it's really useful for prosthetic makeup, special effects makeup. So if you're somebody like me who's into all these things, and I'm sure you're going to love this particular um, airbrush machine. 
so if you spray it from a little distance you can see that this platter is really very clean and smooth and if you come a little closer to your uh, uh, client's face or skin then you can uh, do this detailed sort of work so i'm just showing you how easy it is to like move around um, using this uh, particular machine it's it's lightweight it's it's a little sturdy a little heavier but then you know that makes it easier for us to create more stable uh, designs so yeah i mean that's pretty much about how you can you know um, splatter the pigments or the foundations based on your desired requirements so now i'm going to okay I, I haven't told you about this knob so the knob on the top is actually to control the airflow so you can either have like the maximum airflow or like li literally minimum so i'm just uh, moving it around and showing you how this platter changes so if you are like you know uh, reducing the intensity of uh, the airflow then of course you will see that you know they are very there's very little pigment so you can do this for like covering your scars or you know like you know point sort of uh, corrections and then you know if if you want like uh, more splatter more pigment then of course you'll have to increase the intensity of your airflow so in simple terms this is how you're gonna you know basically operate your machine that's as simple as in simple terms if i can explain so here i'm showing you demonstrating body art so i have had little product left so i just wanted to show you how exactly airbrush sits onto your skin so i'm just spraying the pigment and i'm building it so make sure that you're not you're keeping your uh, gun away from your uh, hand and just not like wet too close because that will give you a lot of patchy result so when you're like keeping it away slowly build it you might see a little bit of uh, patches here and there no not to worry just like keep building keep building and eventually you will see that everything is well blended and clean so after using a machine it's very very important that you clean it immediately you don't want any product to be there and you know jam your gun so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to pour in the cleanser the airbrush cleanser into the same container where the pigment was and again i'm bubbling it up so that you know uh, the pigments mix up with the cleanser and then i'll just spray it on a piece of paper or some tissue and just remove the cleanser i'm gonna repeat this like three four times till the cleanser runs clear on my napkin and uh, also you know make sure that even even after like you know it's running clear i do it one more time just to make sure that you know there is no excess product sticking around and after that i'm just going to like clean dry the container uh, and now i'm going to show you how to open your gun and clean it from inside now this is very important first i'm going to take a earbud and just cleanse this particular container underneath you know there is a needle so just be very careful with that make sure that you know how you clean your ears that's that gently you'll have to clean this container again make sure that you know uh, the fibers from the cotton are not sticking in so be careful with that as well now what i'm going to do is open uh, the uh, the gun and unscrew the needle so be very gentle here your needle is everything there's no replacement for it take it out take a clean tissue and just wipe it once that's it and be very very gentle with it guys after once you're done doing that insert it back screw everything together and you know um, your gun is cleansed from inside out thank you guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you're here even now then you're here to learn and i'm creating this content for people like you uh if you have any questions around uh how to assemble your machine which machine to purchase what budget to allocate and how to cleanse or you know whatever if there's any damage what to do any questions related to airbrush feel free to drop me a uh, comment and i'll try to respond to you guys and if you want to learn how to like you know do a full face airbrush makeup then subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon because that's how you're going to know when i'm going to post a video for it and uh, also make sure you like share and comment uh, and help us reach out to as many artists and as many people as possible there's so many aspiring makeup artists out there and there's so many upcoming makeup artists out there and i'm sure this information can be very useful to them so 
see you. Ta-da!